So this week we're going to talk about some of the more biological and evolutionary perspectives of personality and how personalities develop from those perspectives. So part of the debate always starts with the nature versus nurture debate. And, and really it shouldn't be nature versus nurture. It should be nature and nurture because they both come into play. But you can see on this uh, diagram here that different perspectives focus more on nature whereas other ones in psychology focus more on nurture and we're focusing kind of on the extreme end here the nature side with the biological approaches um, evolutionary takes a little bit more nurture into it than just biological but what we're looking at really is genetics heredity um, and and how certain genetic and heritable traits can be influenced over time so when we're talking about genetics and heredity, you can you know, look at this as kind of a, a perspective here that certain traits, instead of saying you know, disease, even though disease could be a form of a personality trait, you know, a pers personality disorder or something like that, but you know, any kind of personality traits here are either present or absent in two individuals. And depending on when we look at heredity, depending on what's dominant or recessive, those types of things get passed on through their, their children, through their families. And that's how the biological perspective looks at things. Um, the, um, these things are traits that your parents have. They are passed on to the family through uh, a biological genetic perspective. Evolutionary psychology considers that as well. These things are passed on. But not only are these things passed on, but traits that are useful to survival and reproduction are reinforced and are more likely to be passed on than other traits. So, you know, through evolution here, we move to standing upright, we move to, you know, reading books, to connecting on the internet, on, uh, on computers, on internet and stuff like that. We continue to advance that way. Another way to look at this, maybe, maybe this person is, you know, connecting and talking to a person in one-on-one uh, -on -one and having that personal connection with them. Whereas now we're more connected to connect, we're more commonly connected to people via the internet, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, Tinder, all these different apps that are out there. So evolutionary psychology starts to explain some of these traits uh, based on what is best for, um, again, survival and reproduction of the, uh, of our species. So this week, again, we'll look at uh, biological and evolutionary psychology, more on the nature side. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.